What's going on gang? Today we are talking about the only guns you really should be running here in Warzone 2. I think using any guns on this list are definitely going to boost your play experience. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, hit that sub button, man. Crush that like button, run to 5k. Let's get right into it. All right, gang, starting off on this list, I'm going to have the cast off 762. Now listen, there are going to be guns that aren't on this list that probably could be viable, but maybe not necessarily. I think there's definitely standout metas and there's only select few guns that you really need to be running. That is to absolutely, if you're competitive, to shred out, to have really big games, there's really only a handful of guns. You know, I typically do find a lot of different guns uh, as I go through, but in this game, it's kind of hard with the TTK being so fast. It, it's very select few weapons that actually shred in this game. This isn't really an order, so I'm starting with the cast off 762. That doesn't mean it's worse than these other guns. The only real standout meta right now would be like the ISO Hemlock, the Rowl, and the Saken. Uh, but the cast off is like super, super good. I love running this. I play it all the time. I just don't think it's like the best because of the recoil. I know a lot of people can't control that. Uh, so again, it's not necessarily a tier list. It's all these are all viable guns You run any of these classes you will enjoy the play experience so much more uh, So go, starting off with the cast off. Uh, we got the ammo pv4 tuned at minus 2.32 and minus 1.65 40 round mags f tech rip f tech ripper 56 at 0 0.62 0 0.23 Polar fire s at 0 0.68 and 0.65 and the cast 10 barrel this can be a 0.37 and 0.28 again a super solid build it's just got that recoil. It's about like running the Amex. Uh, the Lockman sub actually got nerfed uh, with this recent update. It got a little bit of a mobility nerf, but I definitely still love this class. This was a hip fire predominant class. Uh, you could ADS, didn't really have much recoil, extremely fast. Uh, you had the Stockless mod, 50 round drone, Bruin Warrior Grip tuned for 0 0.80 and 0.39. Hip shot laser untuned and then the F tech M sub 12 inch at 0 0.50 and 0 0.40 again gang This is a super solid gun just because a weapon gets nerfed doesn't mean it's gone We learned that I mean god the RPK got nerfed four times before it was actually nerfed in this game and think about like the DMR and other CODs Just because a gun's been nerfed once does not mean that it is out of the leaderboards man This is still a super good gun if you put it away because of the nerf Try it back out, man. I ran it the other day and I had a great time doing it. Uh, the Vaznev 9K, this has been solid since Warzone 2 is released. I like it because it's a really solid sniper support, but it also dominates up close. It has a great hip fire, extremely accurate when you ADS. Uh, we got the True Tech Grip at minus 0.55 at minus 0.19. Markiev R7 stock, that's going to be at minus 2.84 at minus 1.94. 45 round mags FSS Olay V laser that's going to be at minus 0.37 and minus 37.84 and then the Bruin Cubic Comp I'm going to have that at minus 0.57 and 0.28 super super solid gun try it out let me know what you think again this is one of those guns that's just been uh, rock solid throughout the entirety of this game I definitely think it's going to stay. It's going to be like a middle ground. You know, other metas are going to get nerfed and buffed. This gun's going to stay. Uh, absolutely rips. Going on to that, I got... This is my Ashika Island M4. I actually got this build from Booyah. Uh, Phase Booyah. This class rips. And this class inspired most of my AR builds. I build all of my ARs with this layout. Iron Sights. It makes them all absolute laser beams. The amount of comments I've gotten through my videos running this gun... And like other builds similar to it uh saying oh you have cronus you have aimbot oh you're sus blah blah, blah. it's so funny it's actually ridiculous because of how good these builds are uh the x10 grip does not have a tune 45 round mags f tech gripper 56 is going to be at 0 0.80 and 0 0.40 komodo heavy is going to be at 0 0.80 and 0.34 with the high tower 20 inch barrel at 0 0.50 and 0.40 Mobility on this gun's ridiculous. Accuracy is absolutely insane. You have no problem shooting people out of the sky at range up close. Super duper solid class. Like this, man, this is a good class. Super consistent. I don't see this class falling off. Going on to my custom class five. I got a Sheikah. This is my attack 56 Ashika build. Uh, same concept. So it's gonna have the Komodo Heavy and it's gonna be maxed out. This class is maxed out on everything. Uh, we got the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro Barrel. That's gonna be maxed out as well. Uh, FTAC Ripper 56 with the maxed out 60 round mags in the FTAC Combat Grip, which I actually didn't touch. I should tune it, but I haven't. 
I just feel like that's a really fine balance between like recoil steadiness, end on sight speed, sprint fire, and aiming stability. It doesn't really need to be tuned with. I'm not trying to have more recoil steadiness when it's already a laser to sacrifice ADS speed and vice versa. I don't want more ADS speed to ruin how much of a laser it is. Sprint to fire and then aiming idle, it's not really an SMG, so I don't really need that sprint to fire, especially with everyone having like, you know, Lockman's, Vaznev's, MP7's in the back pocket. You know, you really don't need that. You know, switch to your secondary if you want something for a little more up close. Super solid gun though. I mean, oh my God. It's probably my favorite gun in the game. Like this gun plays so well. I know it's a scar, but it plays like a kilo in my opinion. Everyone talks about the ISO being a kilo. This plays like the kilo to me. Like when I think about meta kilo days and Verdansk, I think of this gun, even with the iron side build, I mean, oh my God, it absolutely fries. Definitely keep that in your wheelhouse. Going on to my route class, I feel like people don't run this class because of the mobility. You're super slow with it, but there's no way this isn't contention for the best gun in the game. I got an ammo PV4 that's gonna be at minus uh, 2.32, minus 1.65. The FSS OLAV laser, I don't really tune my lasers. I like their properties. I just don't think it's necessary to sit there and tune. Again, it's like we just talked about. I'm not willing to sacrifice sprint to fire speed to aim walking steadiness and so on and so forth. Um, the 21 inch EXF Rhino barrel, I have that at 0.37 and 0.18. The TACG76 is going to be at 0.54, and then it says minus 0.01. Ooh, excuse me, holy. Uh, 0.00. I, I left it there kind of as a troll for a little while, but 0.00 is fine. Let's make it m negative zero. I know that's not a thing, but we'll do that. Um, the TACG, so we just did, and then the SA side grip. I got this at 0.44 and 0.25. This has been one of those guns, if you're spraying at somebody and you connect a headshot, that's it. That's wraps, it doesn't matter. This gun hits so ridiculously hard. I mean, look at the damage profile at the bottom left. That's marksman rifle damage properties. I mean, it is absolutely insane. And I'm surprised it hasn't gotten a nerf. Like, maybe it's because it's going under the radar, not too many people are running it. Again, mobility, ADS speed, it's a, it's a slow gun, it's chunky. But my god, if you just post up in a generalized area, I like to call it playing for a nuke. So when I say playing for a nuke, I split a map into fours. Uh, whatever, I'm playing multiplayer and I call them quadrants. You have four separate quadrants. Every time I play a map, I think of those same quadrants. And wherever people are really playing, I'll hold a quadrant down. And that's usually how you get a nuke. If one gets shot, you go to the next. You do the same thing in Warzone. You get a ton of kills. You go from quadrant to quadrant. If you want to just sit there and hold a quadrant down, this is the gun to do it because you don't have to move too much and you absolutely slay out. Uh, going on to the Seiken, I like the Seiken a lot, but if I'm gonna go ahead and commit to an LMG, I'm probably gonna use the route because of the damage, but generalized between everybody, this gun's a super laser beam. It looks like it shoots ropes. I mean, the super fast fire rate, Paired with extremely high damage, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. We got the ammo PV4, which is at minus 1.55 and minus 1.65. FSS laser, untuned. 20 inch Bruin barrel, that's gonna be at 0.35 and 0.26. Castova DX90 at 0.59 and 0.58. With the Cronin WL55 grip, that's gonna be at 0.59 and 0.18. This gun shoots so fast and so accurate. If you're shooting someone out of the sky and you're not used to that, maybe, let's say you're not as skilled of a player. You're trying to get more competitive. You're starting to maybe take pop shots you would normally take. Uh, you're shooting at someone in the sky. You can watch your bullet trail like with ease. It really helps with tracking. A super solid gun I would recommend to anybody struggling with this game. The Seiken MG38 is your gun. The mobility isn't phenomenal, but again, we talked you know, you have the MP7, you have the Lockman, you have the Vaznev. You can run those as options. Not too worried about that. But as a primary hole, Lee the Seiken's good. Uh, we got the MP7, which is obviously top tier meta. Soccer Soldier Grip, that's going to be tuned at minus 1.0 and minus 0.45. Uh, VOK Laser, this one I definitely have tuned. I want this thing to be as fast as possible because even with all the anti recoil adjustments, it's still no recoil. Uh, minus 0.50 and minus 51 feet. 
Uh, Tango 228 barrel. That's gonna be at recoil steadiness 0 0.50 and 0 0.40 for damage range and uh, steadiness. The Merc 4 grip is for uh, hip fire. Got hip fire control at 0 0.80 and hip fire accuracy at 0 0.40. The Forge DX90F at 1.40 and 1.00. Uh, and then I got the Hemlock, which I've covered a lot lately. I mean, such a solid gun. Unbelievable. It's going to get nerfed into the ground. You already know this. Ammo PV4 at minus 1.84 and minus 1.65. FSS laser at 0.37 and minus 27.97 feet. 45 round max, high velocity ammo at 0.52. 6.97 and the echoless 80 muzzle at minus 1.08 and 0.68 these are my number one guns uh any honorable measures i would throw them maybe the mx9 right here super solid sniper support i like it because you can kind of just run through with it. it has really good range it's not like super dominant up close but it gets the job done definitely uh it doesn't have like the biggest magazine on this class i have 32 mags and whatever uh and then for the barrel Let's see here boom but again sniper support unbelievable and that really wraps it up i don't really run any of the dualies anymore uh, you know the excels the pistols nothing like that i know there's a few pistols that are pretty good but these are the easiest weapons to use in this game right now gang listen if you're new to the channel you made it this far in this video like, first and foremost thank you for watching this far also hit that sub button man crush that like button okay and i'll catch you on tomorrow with some banging gameplay let's get it